The shocking science of why birds don't get electrocuted on power lines. Have you ever seen birds resting calmly on power lines and wondered, why aren't they zapped by electricity? It's a shocking sight, literally. This everyday mystery hides a fascinating slice of science about how electricity interacts with our feathery friends. Let's dive into the electrifying truth. To understand why birds stay safe, we need to grasp the basics of electricity. Electricity flows as a current, always taking the path of least resistance. For it to travel, it requires a complete circuit, something to flow through and return to where it began, like a loop. Power lines carry electricity at high voltages, making them incredibly dangerous for us humans. But for a bird, the equation changes. Their ability to safely perch comes down to the principles of voltage and what counts as a path of least resistance. When a bird stands on a single power line, their body doesn't complete a circuit. They stay at the same electrical potential as the wire they're perched on. With no voltage difference between their feet, electricity has no reason to flow through their bodies. Q. Safe bird. However, if the bird were to touch two different power lines, or one line and a grounded object, it would create a path for electricity to flow. That's when things take a dangerous turn. In this case, the bird acts as a bridge, completing the circuit. Goodbye, safe perch. It's not just luck that birds survive this dangerous balancing act. It's science at play. Birds owe their safety to insulation and their small, lightweight bodies. Compared to humans, they provide far less resistance, making them an undesirable route for electricity to follow. Human bodies, on the other hand, are excellent electrical conductors. If we were to touch the wire, the electricity would happily pass through us to the ground. That's why we cannot afford to relax around power lines the way birds can. Physics favors the feathered here. Yes, even birds are not completely immune. If a bird stretches its wings too wide and accidentally touches two power lines, or if it brushes a grounded pole while perched on a wire, it creates a deadly circuit. Safety vanishes in an instant, proving power lines are no playground. Other animals aren't so lucky either. Squirrels, often seen running across power lines, can face similar risks, as can large birds with bigger wingspans. It's proof of just how precise the conditions must be for birds to stay safe in these situations. Understanding this phenomenon isn't just intriguing, it's valuable. Power companies have borrowed ideas from nature to design safer power grids. For example, bird safe devices are installed in high risk areas to prevent accidental electrocutions, protecting wildlife from their accidental encounters with danger. By learning from such natural puzzles, we bridge science with compassion. And who knew these tiny, fluffy creatures could teach us so much about physics, safety, and design? Nature's solutions are as elegant as they are practical. The next time you see birds on a power line, marvel at their effortless balancing act and their electric immunity. But always remember, this isn't an experiment to try yourself. Respect electricity's power and let science spark your curiosity instead. If you loved unraveling this mystery, hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more engaging science stories. Your support powers our exploration of nature's coolest secrets. Let's keep the curiosity flowing just like electricity.